क्वेश्चन सेज सेलेक्ट द इन करेक्ट अबाउट वायरॉइड्स वायरॉइड्स वर डिस्कवर्ड बाय टी ओ डाइनो एंड दे आर फ्री आर एन ए पार्टिकल्स दे आर इन्फेक्शियस दे डो नॉट हैव एनी टाइप ऑफ प्रोटीन कोट ओवर देम सो लेट सी दी ऑप्शन ए दे आर फ्री आर एन ए येस इट इज ट्रू दे आर फ्री आर एन ए इन्फेक्शियस पार्टिकल्स B. They lack protein coat. Yes, they are not surrounded by any kind of protein coat, as can be seen in the viruses. C. Were discovered by T. O. Dino. Yes, it is also true. They have free DNA with protein coat. No, they do not have DNA as well as protein coat. So the correct option for the given question is option D, which says they have free DNA with protein coat, as this is not true for them. Let's move to the next question. This question says that to control the emission of ozone depleting substances, Montreal Protocol was signed in 1987, and it became effective in. Definitely, if it was signed in 1987, it became effective after that year only. So, in 1988, no. 1986, no. 1985, no. It became effective in 1989. So the correct option for the given question is B, which says 1989. Let's pick up the next question. This question says, during citric acid cycle, substrate level phosphorylation takes place when there is conversion of. Before dealing with question in detail, we should know what is substrate level phosphorylation. substrate level phosphorylation is the direct atp synthesis means direct atp is synthesized without forming the nadph2 nadh2 or fadh2 so from succinic acid to fumaric acid it happens no from fumaric to malic no from succinyl coenzyme a to succinic acid yes when there is conversion of succinyl coenzyme a to succinic acid there is formation of gtp from alpha ketoglutaric acid to succinyl coenzyme a there is formation of nadh2 when there is conversion of alpha ketoglutaric acid to the succinyl coenzyme a but not the direct atp so the correct option for the given question is option c which says succinyl coenzyme a to succinic acid let's move to the next question this question says that select the correct match A beta thalassemia autosomal recessive trait chromosome number 11 it is true beta thalassemia is the autosomal recessive disorder and the gene for it is placed on chromosome number 11 now b sickle cell anemia autosomal recessive trait chromosome number 16 no sickle cell anemia undoubtedly is a autosomal recessive trait but the gene for it is also located in chromosome number 11 which makes it false c color blindness while linked no color blindness is the sex linked recessive disorder so we can say this is x linked recessive disorder it is not y linked because y linked traits are called the holandric traits and color blindness is not the holandric trait d myotonic dystrophy autosomal recessive disorder no myotonic dystrophy is autosomal dominant disorder so this is also incorrectly matched so the correctly matched option over here is option a which says beta thalassemia is autosomal recessive trait and the gene is located on chromosome number 11 let's move to the next question this question says uvb or ultraviolet b damages dna and mutation may occur it also a causes inflammation of cornea called snow blindness this is true that uvb can cause the inflammation of cornea and this is called the snow blindness uvb can also damage the skin cells yes it is also absolutely true that uvb radiations can harm your skin and they cause the damage to the skin cells third they directly harms the ozone layer by creating hole in it no uvb radiations does not directly harm the ozone layer 
Instead, they break these CFC's molecules. D, both A and B, yes, this is correct one. So, the correct option for the given question is option D, which says both A and B. Let's pick up the next question. 